Cancers, how are you? Uh, we're just going to jump straight into this, okay, Cancers, because anything and everything else that you need to know is already in the pinned comments below and it's in the descriptions box, okay? So we're just going to dive straight in and find out what's happening for you when it pertains to love and romance for the month of February 2021. It's for Cancer Collectives, please. Cancer Collectives, please. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh. Interesting. Cancers. Unfinished symphony. An incomplete lesson, a lack of closure, and a need to make amends. Oh, wow. Um, you're not doing subtle this month then, are you, Cancers? Uh, straight, straight out the door. This is either you or someone that you're dealing with who feels like there is unfinished business here. Something is incomplete and the chances are quite high, Cancers, that you will be affected by um, the recent Mercury retrograde, I'm afraid to say. I don't, I don't know how most of you are going to feel about that you know it, it's very 50 50 some of you are like no to the past and others of you are like well do you know what? actually yeah i could do with some closure so a bit of a mixed vibe here and then observer perspective uh, uh, objectivity neutral observation take time out before you react okay so the general guidance here cancers is um stop just stop. You do not have to react straight away, okay? You can really take your time to think about this. Take your time to think about how it's making you feel. Um, how, how does this person make you feel? Um, what type of person are they turning you into? Um, observe but do not absorb and that's really really it's going to be really a difficult time for you okay to try and observe without absorbing because naturally you feel everything anyway <clears throat> on such a deep level um i'm not sick by the way it, it's just my throat it's feeling really really itchy um i'm certain that i'm picking up on the energies of the individual that you're dealing with um this could also be you as well, being at a loss for words, just not knowing what to say. Um, th this is someone who is able to obviously trigger that emotional response within you, okay? And it is just, I don't know, th this is something that's quite heavy, Cancer. It's... Um, See, some of you could still be holding a bit of anger towards somebody, which is all, it's also contributing to this, not knowing what to say, not knowing how to react. Um, and that, that's why you're being told to basically just stop. <laughs> uh, really think carefully about <clears throat> what you're going to say before you say it. I'm getting the overall feeling here that whatever happens next is permanent, you know. Mm, okay, right. So basically, the gist of that is the past is highly likely to come back around, Cancers, and it's going to take you off your feet. Okay, so you do not have to react instantly. It's okay for you to leave that text message um, for a couple of hours, a couple of days if you need before you reply to it. OK, um, it's OK for you to leave that phone call unanswered and to phone them back when you're feeling um, able to hold a conversation with that individual. OK. Ooh, it, it's deep. It's really deep. It's very strange. OK, right. <clears throat> We're going to try and pull who it is that you're dealing with from this deck and I will use the planet cards to try and gauge a sort of personality on this individual that you're dealing with, okay? Who is it the Cancers are dealing with, please? Who is it the Cancers are dealing with, please? Oh, Leo, OK. 
okay so you could be dealing with a leo or you could be dealing with someone who is very creative and for some of you as well you could be dealing with someone who you've um, had children with because leo energy is all about children creativity uh, romance joy uh, sex pleasures good fortune i am feeling that children aspect very strongly for some of you oh Taurus okay so this is someone who enjoys the finer things in life they they enjoy um, a nice uh, like a, a nicely decorated home and um, that they, they love to dress nice because when they dress nice they feel nice it's someone who's very tactile as well then you've got Saturn and that's the ruling planet for Capricorn um, that's a really restrictive energy it's someone who uh, plays by the book they can be a little bit too pessimistic and um, very uh, career orientated and um, very structured it's like they they like to have a structured way of doing things so this is someone who keeps um like a, a strict diary of events so they know what's happening when it's happening how it's happening who it's happening with um all of that good stuff um yeah very committed very disciplined um this is also a highly karmic card as well right because the planet saturn is um the power to reward so it's it's a very karmic vibe there could be something karmic about this connection as well or this could be um, someone trying to balance the situation out again someone trying to make things fair um, someone could be uh, I hate to say it because it sounds really nasty but they could be reaping what they've sown with you as well like you know they could be getting their uh, karmic juice and then you've got Aquarius so the Aquarius energy is all about um, hopes and wishes community good spirit friendships mainly groups uh, community very very strongly so this could be someone who is um, able to think outside of the box they're a very unique thinker um, sometimes though with this with these two this could be someone who might uh, think that they know it all and they're really restricted when it comes down to having to listen to the opinions of others so they can be quite selfish they can be quite single-minded um, but but once they've heard a good argument for whatever case is being presented then eventually yet yeah, they, they will listen to the other side um, very they, they can be a little bit eccentric as well and um, there's something unusual about the way that they dress and the reason why I'm saying that is because you've also got Leo and Taurus here as well so this is someone who likes to look good they like to dress good and they there's something uh, quite unique about the way that they dress so it could be for example um, it could just be uh, plain black trousers with a really unique top and like the, their, their top is always a unique design or the other way around okay so it's it's eccentricity but it's uh, it's done in a tasteful way okay right so <clears throat> we're going to start pulling your tarot and we're going to ask some questions about this person that you're dealing with and we'll see if we can get uh, further clarity on what's going on for them you know like how they're seeing you how they're feeling towards you and the actions that they would like to take towards you because remember what they would like to do and what they would actually do are two entirely different things depending on their circumstances um, and yeah we'll take a look at their blockages as well that's just a wee bit squint there we go okay right so I'm finished with that deck let's move on to your tarot okay so how is cancer's person of interest currently seeing cancer please
these. As Cancer's person of interest. Currently seeing Cancer. This page of Cups. That's always an interesting one to me in how someone's seeing you. Um, so the Page of Cups is Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you. The Two of Coins. Uh, the Two of Coins is ooh, Jupiter in Capricorn. Again, with that balance, weigh, weighing, weighing something, uh, weighing up. And I'm, I'm feeling consequences. Oh, yes, it is. Three of Swords, Libra energy. Uh, Saturn in Libra, more specifically. Okay, so imagine this. The person that you're dealing with is currently on the outside looking in towards your life. And rightly or wrongly, they're making a lot of assumptions about you. Um, which is fair enough, really, because we all do that to some extent or the other. Okay. So this is their opinion. Okay. Their first row is their opinion. Um, they seem to think, and this is why I said this is always an interesting one to me in how someone's seeing you. Your person thinks that you owe them an apology. Okay. Again, rightly or wrongly, this is their opinion, right? I'm, I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> Please don't hate me. They seem to think that um, the ball is pretty much in your court here, Cancers, and that the only one who can balance out this situation once again is you. And then the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, grief, disappointment. Something didn't pan out in the way in the way that you had hoped here, Cancers. Okay. So what I'm seeing is the person that you're dealing with is basically saying that this is your fault. Okay. Uh I don't know. I mean, I, c I can understand now why I was picking up on a wee bit of anger when that unfinished uh, unfinished symphony card came out. I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be awkward. And this is awkward because this is someone who's sitting there going, cancer owes me an apology. Cancer's the one that broke this, not me. Cancer this, cancer that, yada, yada, yada. And then the next thing you know, they're sending you messages. They're, they're trying to have some kind of like a do over. And that's where I was clocking your anger. What's in this person's heart space, please, towards cancer? So, oh, four of wands. Okay. It's a bit better. So the Four of Wands is Venus in Aries energy and it pertains to uh, stability. It pertains to marriages, holidays, romance, Knight of Cups. It's Pisces energy. Yeah. Um, there could well be a proposal here, funnily enough, and the chariot. That's your major arcana. So in their heart, even though they're sitting there, saying all of that. It's totally different from what's in their heart space. Because in their heart space, there is still a lot of love. Um, and again, some of you might be unexpectedly proposed to by this individual. And you're going to think, what the fuck? The audacity. Like, are they for real? They've been saying this, that and the next about me. They've hurt me deliberately. They've gone out and told everybody else that I did this, that and the next when I didn't. And now all of a sudden they're coming back in and declaring their undying love for me here. What the hell's going on? It doesn't, it doesn't really make much sense, does it, Cancers? 
because they're, they're, they're seeing and saying one thing, but then in their heart space, it tells a completely different story. It's like on the outside, they're being quite cruel. Hmm. What actions are they going to take, please, toward cancers? Oh, hanged man. So the hanged man is Neptune energy. It's Pisces. Why, why is this coming out here as wishful thinking? King of Cups, Scorpion energy. High Priestess, Moon energy. Yeah. In their actions towards you. There's a secret. Give, right, give us a second. I'm going to clarify that High Priestess. Why is a high priestess here, please, the cancers in their actions towards cancers? High priestess, why is this here, please? Oh, thank you. Strength, Leo, ten of coins, Virgo. Okay. Hmm. Five of cups, scorpion. Right, there's... There, there is regret here, right? It's really confusing. Okay, cancers. They're they're certainly giving you mixed signals. That's that's an absolute certainty, right? A lot of mixed signals here. Um, you would appreciate a little bit of honesty from this individual. Because there's still something here. Strength, ten of coins and five of cups. I'm feeling that this individual is skating on very thin ice with you, Cancers, with this combo. Um, this could have been an argument that was taken a bit too far. Because we've got them here taking taking another look at the situation. Um, it, it's like that they're, they're waiting for something they're waiting for some kind of answer. Is it that they're waiting for a final answer from you, Cancers? There's still a lot of emotion here, though, towards you. And then the High Priestess. This is usually intuition or secrets. Strength, Ten of Coins, Five of Cups. Okay, so the, it's looking a lot like this, Cancers. Your person's in denial. They're in denial about how they're feeling towards you. And they're basically, they're, they're straight up lying. They're lying to everyone else around them. This could be friends, family, anything like that. Basically, anybody who will listen, okay? Um, they're saying that they no longer care about you, this, that and the next, and how you were responsible for something ending. Um, but in their heart, there is still a lot of love here, right? It's, it's making them come across as a bit wishy-washy, because right now, they, they don't know what they want right now, right? And that's that wishy-washy energies. That's why how they're seeing you and what's in their heart space are two entirely different things. Because they're telling people one story while feeling something else entirely the opposite towards you. There is still love here. It's still here. Now, they're in denial because there's something here about wanting to uh, get back into a long-term commitment, okay? Strength, ten of cups, uh, ten of coins, and the five of cups. So this is someone who made a mistake, Cancer. They made a mistake. They fucked up. And to save face, to save public opinion, it's like they're, they're trying to pin all of the blame onto you while deep down they're wanting to come back 
like that they want to come back and to share their lives with you again. The blockage, five of cups. Mars in Scorpio energy. It's the same thing. I'll say a blockage. The fact that they cannot tell the truth about how they're feeling. Too busy feeling sorry for themselves. What's under there? Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Again, um, not that, that's like uh, non-committal, spontaneous energies. They need to decide one way or the other what exactly it is that they want and what is it that they're going to do. They also need to stop um, telling people around them things that are untrue. Because that's literally how gossip is created. And clarify this entire read, please, for cancers. Thank you. What a catch. An ideal partner or mate, abundant self-esteem, value that answers yes, and marriage material. It's mixed signals again. Golden mirror, there you go. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, hesitation. Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. Gratuity, being gracious, abundant mindset, high frequency, positivity, attracting what you want, an engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. I did say that there was a surprise proposal here. This, this is a read that is very, very concerning to me. Really concerning. This is... See, but this, that's love bombing. Them. The only one that's different. This is not like the others. This one here is throwing me a bit of a curveball. Because we've got two cards about narcissism. These are quite clearly love bombing. And then this one's different. I would be cautious here, Cancers. If you remember this, oops, remember this. Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation. Take time out before you react. It is absolutely vital that you take your time with this. If you're aware that there is a narcissist around you, Cancers, don't let them love bomb you. Because if they can love bomb you, then they, they still hold the power. T it, take your power back. Take your power back. If you keep your frequency high, then that is going to provide you with some kind of like a energetic safety shield. It's time for you to attract what you genuinely do want in your life. This, this is dodgy. Further clarify, thank you. Time out. Awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. Uh, <laughs> wow. Observe what it is that you're responding to. Maintain a dignified silence. Wow. Yeah. Be very, very careful here, Cancers, about what it is that you're saying yes to, okay? Love energies, please, around cancers. 
Okay, Twin Flames, your passion ignites, new beginning and new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately and the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you, so follow it with faith. Hmm. What's this one? It's important right now to take a step back and spend... Are you kidding me? And spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Someone might have been duped here into thinking that this specific individual was a twin flame. I would take a closer look at that, Cancers. See, it's, it's these here. And the fact that they're going around telling everyone else one story while keeping something else hidden away inside of them, their true feelings hidden inside of them, it, it's, um, I, I don't know, it's making me feel really, really uncomfortable. Like this, this entire thing is really unnerving. Could it be cancers, the fact that you're moving on? Could it be that? You could be having a new beginning with a twin flame. And then your past, because it's here multiple times about your past coming back in. Your past, like your past person's really, really good at love bombing. Because they could well be a narcissist. But you're trying to move on with a twin flame. It could be that for some of you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real oh, and worth exploring. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And stay optimistic. Uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Engagement. Love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Mm. There's a couple of people here, isn't there, Cancers? There is a couple. You're not dealing with one. Now, it could be that uh, you're about to get engaged or you've recently been engaged and it's that that has triggered your past to make an attempt to come back in to see if to see if they still hold any kind of power over you now it's important to remember that um see whenever that happens and you suddenly get uh exes coming out of the woodwork and declaring their ever undying love towards you and all the rest of it but they only ever do it um when when you when you're moved on right the reason you'll find that they do that especially if these cards are right and one of these individuals is a full-blown fucking narcissist the reason why they do that and listen carefully it's not because of you it's to stroke their own ego to see if they still have some kind of uh, emotional puppeteering control over you. It's all about seeing if they still have the power to do that. That's why it always amazes me whenever you hear all all these stories about um, people who, like, on, on their... Uh, the day before they get married, they, they're cheating with an ex who has suddenly declared their undying love towards them. It's stupidity. Absolutely stupidity. Because they come back in deliberately to see if they've still got power over you. For some of you, this is what you're dealing with. That, and that's why you're getting repeated messages about be really, really, really careful about what it is that you're responding to. Do not allow the past to destroy your future, whatever you do, especially as their intent is abundantly clear here 
that they're only doing it to see if they still can. This read is concerning, really, really concerning, because somebody is running the risk of throwing away their future so that a narcissist can have their ego stroked. It's literally a fucking trap, is what I'm looking at. Don't let your past hold you back. You saw that card come out. See, so your south node all pertains to your karmic past, okay? It says, I release the past work through old programming. A relationship is karmic and has played out over many lives. Your attraction to someone may be virgin on the obsessive. Just because you can do something, it doesn't mean that you should. So that's for whoever it is that's trying to come back in towards you, Cancers. Just because they can, it doesn't mean that they should. You have a conversation, please, between cancers and their person of interest. It's really hard to shuffle these ones. Conversation, please. Cancers and their person of interest. I'm tied into something else right now. I feel rejected. Uh-huh. This is you saying, no, I'm tied into something else right now. And they're like, but I feel rejected. Yeah, it's all about them, isn't it? You say, I don't want to lose what I have. Yeah, because you, you know, you know what side your bread is buttered on. I'm learning to be adaptable. I'm learning through you. Yeah, you're learning about dangerous, uh, dangerous individuals through that person. I have never felt this way before, ever. And I'm facing my fears. That could be either of you. Mm. See, that can also be part of the love bombing as well. So cancers, please. Okay, so this next deck, it can get a little bit too specific for some, okay? So as always, you take the messages that are resonating for you and you leave what doesn't to another cancer, okay? So you've got letter M. So cancers, please. Supportive. Okay. Loyal, yeah. So cancers, please. Slim. Mouth. Interesting. Answers, please. Oh, okay. Let's go with it then. Tattoos. S. T. Fashionable, tall, and affectionate. Right. So these could be like descriptive words of anybody. Okay. Um, this could be descriptive words of the narcissist that you're dealing with, descriptive words of the individual that you're getting engaged to and, you know, actually building a life with. Um, it could be anything like that. But these are just basically extra confirmations for anybody who needs it. So, I mean, 
a lot of these are repeating messages that we've already seen, especially that fashionable one as well. We mentioned that right at the start, didn't we? Um, so yeah, someone could have uh, tattoos, like very visible tattoos. Mouth. Now that would tell me to be uh, mindful of the words that someone is saying, okay? Be, be really, really careful. Listen carefully because guaranteed you, you will pick up on like the, the really subtle unspoken messages, right? Um, remember about like loyalty and stuff like that. Um, stay loyal and true to yourself always because remembering that for those who are dealing with a dangerous individual, um, they they don't have loyalty to others. They're, they're only loyal to themselves, okay? So you, you need to think about how you're going to be loyal to yourself. And I mean, if you can avoid that individual, I, I, I would recommend that. Um, love bombing is really, really dangerous, really dangerous because if you've ever had it done to you, it can certainly lead you down a path of um, just total uncertainty. Um, you know, I I'm not going to get into it because those of you who have been love bombed, you'll know exactly what it is I'm trying to say. But anyway, um, just just please be careful around that individual. You'll know exactly who they are and you'll know anyway to be careful around them. Um, keep showing your affections, your love, your loyalty and your support towards yourself and the individual that you're genuinely building up a life with and not any sneaky little bastard from the past that is basically trying to push their luck. Okay, that's the crux of this message here. So yeah, that is what I have for you cancers. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.